All right, welcome back. I wanted to show you a type of problem where it's a little bit different, that's all I'll say. So our new problem is 48 divided by three. 48's inside the den, three is the divisor knocking on the door. Hey, time to divide. Okay, we have our DMSC covering up our eight because we don't need to worry about it right now. All right, first step is to divide. Four divided by three, hmm, now this it's a little different. We usually had the same number. Well, it won't divide equally. We will not have equal groups and that's okay. In long division, we have a solution for that. So we think to ourselves, how many times, how many groups can I might make of three without going over, right? Like I can't say, oh, I'm gonna do two groups, right? That would be six. But I could do one group of three, right? So the one goes on top, okay? Then I multiply to check one times three, and I put it below, and then I subtract, and I get one left over. That's saying if I had four students, and I put them into groups of three, I would have one student left over. That's okay, that works for long division. So I have one student left over, one is less than three, so we can continue. Uncover our other number, drop it like it's hot. I like making a new den because now all we have to worry about is 18 divided by three. Okay, that's our new problem now. 18 divided by three, ah, oh, that does have an equal group, right? 18 divided by three is six. Where does the six go? That's right, up on the top, because it's dancing. Up top here, six times three is 18. We subtract, none left over, we double check. Is that less than three? Yes, it is. So 48 divided by three, 